Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This morning after Fajar Salah, I found myself deeply moved by a Hawaka session at our masjid this morning. The discussion was very much centered around the practice that lies at the very heart of our spiritual journey, which is sujood or prostration. A story shared by a brother today resonated deeply with me. It was about a man who spent his nights in Masjid Al-Aqsa, immersed in sujood for such long periods that he lost track of time and the number of rakahs he had actually prayed. When someone asked him about this, he simply said, If I do not know, then Allah knows. This response struck a chord with me as it beautifully encapsulates the essence of surrender and trust we place in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during our prayers. Now, sujood is more than a physical act. It is a deeply spiritual experience. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that every prostration, every sujood we make elevates our status and wipes away a sin. In sujood, we are at our lowest physically, but at our highest spiritually. It is the closest we can be to Allah, our Creator. As we lower our bodies to the ground, our souls rise, bringing us nearer to our Creator. Now, Prophet Muhammad wasallam cherished this position, often prolonging it in his prayers. There were times he stayed in sujood so long that his companions thought he had passed away. In sujood, we express our deepest gratitude. We seek forgiveness and make our most heartfelt du'as in that position. It is a moment of intimate connection with Allah, where our whispers on the ground reach the heavens. We were also reminded today that sujood is also a way to attain closeness to the Prophet Muhammad wasallam in Jannah. He advised Rabi ibn al to support him in achieving this by increasing the number of frustrations. This isn't just about quantity, but about the, the sincerity and depth of our devotion to our deen. Now, reflecting on the notion of dying in sujood was particularly inspiring. Prophet Muhammad wasallam mentioned that we will be raised one on the day of uh, judgment in the state we died in. Imagine being resurrected in that position, in the position of sujood, a testimony to a life devoted to worship. Some people have been blessed to pass away in this state of humility and devotion, a true sign of their closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The masjid which we are in, uh, we were in this morning was a place of sujood, which reminds us of its uh, profound importance in our lives. Every nation before us had some form of frustration in their prayers, signifying its universal significance in worshipping Allah the Creator. On the Day of Judgment, sujood will distinguish the true believers. Those who sincerely perform sujood in this life will naturally fall into prostration when they see Allah. Those who neglected it will find themselves unable to prostrate, their backs stiffened like iron rods. Now this stark reminder urges us to make sujood as regularly as possible, assume the most sincere part of our worship and complete utter devotion to our deen. Now, brothers and sisters, let us embrace sujood, not merely as a ritual, but as a means of elevation, a means to bring our souls closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strengthen our deen. Let every sujood be a step closer to our Creator, a shield in this life and the next. May Allah grant us the humility, the sincerity, and the devotion to make our sujood a meaningful and accepted one. Amin. Amin. Ya Rabbul Amin. Jazakumullah khair for listening to this short video. 
I wish everyone safety and guidance in your life. Until the next time, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.